because you can only write about God when you meet Him, when you're able to encounter Him. Never be contented to that one encounter because in the same way, God is never contented about encountering us one time. For you to be a best storyteller, you have to experience the experience. So you have to be there. You know, you can't write about Moscow if you've never been to Moscow. You can read about Moscow. Experience is the best storyteller. Welcome to Music and Mission, where we explore identity, vocation, and mission through music and conversation. My name is Patrick. Today, we are exploring the mission of a songwriter. What is God's calling for me if I have been given a talent to write songs? And uh, in the last uh, couple episodes, we were breaking down Pope John Paul II's letter to artists. In there, he references Pope Paul VI's dialogue with artists that happened in 1964, which is uh, almost uh, 60 years ago in the Sistine Chapel. There's a quote there that really stood out to me. I'm still reading through it, but it says, Pope Paul VI to artists, he says, Our ministry is to preach and make accessible and understandable, even moving, the world of the Spirit of the invisible, of the ineffable God. And in this operation, which transmits the invisible world and accessible, intelligible formulas, he's talking to artists, he says, you are masters. It is your craft, your mission to make this uh, under, to make God understandable, this spirit, this invisible, indescribable God. And so that's why I'm really excited for today because my guest is someone who truly does merge his mission with his craft. He's written uh, a lot of songs that we use for worship today in our community, such as Fearless, Eyes On, From Within, just to name a few of them. But behind those songs, I've heard many stories of, of someone who I've come to know as a true songwriter, meaning to say he is continuously writing songs, he's continuously expressing and exploring his relationship with God, his experiences in life through songs, you know, often without the intent to share or use that song in some way. And so I, that's what I'm really interested to explore. What seems to be for this brother a God-given calling to grow in this, this talent and craft of songwriting. So what does that mean? How do you go about growing in the craft of songwriting? And so let's welcome my guest uh, today, uh, morning for him, evening for me here, all the way from the Philippines, playing an original song entitled Higher. Welcome to Music and Mission, Bimbo Yero. <laughs> in the silence I dearly hold in my heart today and so take me deep in your love oh I want to see your face Lord you are all that I have everything comes from your grace you're my life your spirit in me Lord all I am is found in you Took me higher, your wings of hope. Now my joy rests in you. You take me higher from sin, higher in love. Jesus, you are all I need. Oh, 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 oh. You brought me out of my prison. That held me back from your fullness, Lord. You've turned my morning to dancing And in your mercy I made whole And so take me deep in your love Oh, I want to see your face Lord, you are all that I have Everything comes from your grace You're my life, your spirit in me, Lord All I am is found in you Took me higher in your wings of hope. Now my joy rest in you. You take me higher from sin, higher in love. Jesus, you are all I need. Oh, 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 oh. So 
take me deep in your love. Oh, I wanna see your face, Lord. You are. And so take me deep in your love. Oh, I wanna see your face, Lord. You are all that I have. Everything comes from your grace. You're my life, your spirit in me, Lord. All I am is found in you. You take me higher from. Now my joy is rest in you. You're my life, your spirit in me, Lord. All I am is found in you. You took me higher in your wings of hope. Now my joy is rest in you. You take me higher from sin. Are you in love, Jesus? You are all I need. Oh, 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 oh. Awesome. Good morning, Kuya Bimbo. Hey, good morning, man. There was a little bit of the metal working behind you that we were worried about. <laughs> yeah, again. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's funny. But we'll hope, we hope that uh, there won't be too much background noise <laughs> in the, as the Philippines starts to get uh, waking up <laughs> over there. <laughs> you know, people get, get, you know, they, they get up to work early. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I understand that. But yeah, thank you so much for, for coming on and, of course, uh, already sharing some of your music. Um, I think yeah. I, I would love to know, uh, because for me, I think I've always been motivated songwriting-wise by, uh, in our community, like songwriting competitions. <laughs> But uh, things that I've, like I've compete, huh? yeah, <laughs> that was the initial <laughs> seed. It was definitely you know some vanity yeah, yeah. and some competitiveness. Wow. And, right, right. But I, I think, wh where did you sort of get your start in songwriting? <laughs> Funny because when I was, um, <laughs> it's not really competition, but I think it's more of like um, trying to fit in and trying to, trying to just you know, be be known at something. Because at that time, when you're, I mean, when you're in high school, you have that, that drive to be, you know, to be accepted. So, <laughs> so at that time, when I was, um, I think I was in first year high school, and then going to my second year high school, I'm more of like, I started to dream about, you know, it would be good if I, if I write my own songs, because at that time, uh, people started to recognize my gift um, in singing. And at that time as well, I, I never knew that I have a gift with singing because when I was in grade school, I'm more of, you know, when when teachers would assign you to dance and like you have no choice <laughs> because like you're one of those that is, your your family name is one of those that are well known in your town. So like, oh. hey, let's assign this guy. So, <laughs> so I'm more of like into that, to dancing when I was in grade school. Whoa, like, really? Yeah, you're forced to dance in in grade school because <laughs> there's there's a grade that equals to that. So, oh. so yeah, it was it was uh, it was funny. But then when I realized that, I kind of like my motivation was it would be good to write songs that you know when you write songs, you're famous and then you get the girls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was that was the motivation at the time. But finally, I didn't get the girls um, <laughs> <laughs> i kind of like became um a little bit you know known about singing and all that and most of the time my, my songwriting would be it it would cringe i mean people would cringe about it would cringe. They're, yeah they're they're your friends so they like they will not comment anything that that is too harsh for you mm -hmm. so they would like you know they would just yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> That's the best comment I can get from the songs that I wrote. And then, yeah, I mean, I think during those times, it was, I mean, the same with y your situation, that competitions would somehow give you that drive. But at the, I think at the time, it started the fire in me to, you know, to learn more in, wow. in doing this. So, 
yeah, I think the process started there with the very selfish intentions. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> and then it actually changed the, 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 the intention, the motivation changed when um, years later, like maybe four years after or five years after when I started serving in the community setting, mm-hmm. uh, which is in YFC. And then a full-time worker talked to me about it. Like we were just relaxing after lunch and uh, trying to, you know, fight up our sleep because we're going to have a meeting. And I was like, <laughs> he was like, why don't you try to write worship songs? Like, <laughs> <laughs> And I was like, mm, okay, that kind of like interest me. Even though I was thinking about it, but this guy is so passionate about, you know, believing in people, pushing people. So I think I saw that passion from him. And then that I I think I I was convinced. And I don't know if whatever he saw in me, but thank God, because I was convinced enough. (laughs) Wow. Yeah. (laughs) And that that that, I think that started the process of writing um, worship songs to me because it's totally different approach when you write worship songs and secular songs and yeah so that's yeah so awesome. that's 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 the story for me yeah somebody commented <laughs> this this show would be dance and mission if you had gone the dancing route <laughs> instead <laughs> oh my goodness yeah <laughs> that would be funny i'm not sure if how many lives would be you know would be <laughs> destroyed if i would <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Wow. Yeah, that reminds me of, um, so there's this quote uh, from the letter to artists, that artists who are conscious of, of all this, their, their gift, know that they must labor without allowing themselves to be driven by the search for empty glory or the craving for cheap popularity and less by pro- possible profit for themselves. So just what you described of this moment of, from me too, this this uh, desire to get girls or to get attention or to be popular <laughs> or famous and to for it to shift. Um, yeah, true. That's true. beautiful. Yeah. What, what have you, uh, in what way does, so now that that shift has happened, what does songwriting mean to you now? Um. I think it's funny that you asked that because I never really had, you know, had an opportunity to think about it deeper. But to me right now, um, with songwriting, I think it's something that's always been just about the music and the songs. I think uh, it's always bigger than myself. So I don't know if other people would see it in a way that I'm just trying to I'm just trying to like, uh, trying to, I, I, I don't know how you say that, but when, when I was called to become a missionary, um, at that time, I had this deep understanding that with this kind of gift that I have, I could have done this in other place, mm-hmm. but why do I find such fulfillment, such joy here? And I think from that point on, I accepted the, uh, I accepted the fact. There goes the metal cutting. Again. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the affirmation sound, like you know. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like I kind of like think of uh, this is really you know this is I'm a missionary and I have this gift. Then maybe this is part of my call. Like I've been around here for a while, and this 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 have been very instrumental to other people's lives. So I think it varies from people's story from how they were able you know to connect or resonate with the songs that i wrote and connect to god so to me i don't have the definite meaning of that but i always find value i find meaning from how people would resonate to the songs that i wrote and um i don't know i just i just don't want to you know to put any definition to it because there most well not most of the time but a lot of times when i write something and people react to it, or even I write something that I'm, I myself find it good. Mm-hmm. Um, it's, uh, I don't know, I, I don't feel any credit like that I should, you know, get from it. Hmm. And I feel like someone is writing it, like I'm just, someone's moving my hand. Like <laughs> it's really weird sometimes it, when songs would finish as fast as they can, because I think songs know when they are finished. So, you, you just have to, it's another gift to recognize when that is, but 
so yeah I, I don't really put that definition to it but maybe if you you know for the sake of the question it's i think it's it's to me it's my purpose uh because wherever i am um whatever whatever i'm doing um songwriting will always come natural to me and um yeah especially in the most you know the most in the most uh disturbing situation in the most busy situation uh those are the moments i was able to write a song like mm-hmm. i remember a lot, a lot of instances i would write songs when i'm in a jeepney ride or in a tricycle ride <laughs> yeah it's, it's really weird and pe- and the driver would look at me or people sitting beside me would look at me and it's like what are you doing like because i would <laughs> i would hum a, a melody and i would record it directly on my phone and uh, yeah, yeah. people would look at me and i would look at them and like just staring game and it's like <laughs> okay <laughs> and then um i would also write songs during when i'm in front i mean when when everyone's worshiping everything is loud it's funny that those were the times when ideas would come to me and i would record that's why in my memo uh, on my phone mm-hmm. me- voice memo my 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 songs i mean the, the idea of songs there are basically loud because i'm in a crowd i'm in a conference yeah oh, that's <laughs> it's, it's, it's 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 funny but that's that's i think that's the fun to it but i think it's yeah song and writing is more of like something bigger than myself and that to me is is, is my purpose because i think wherever i am i will still be doing that amen thanks for sharing that kuya bimbo yeah i think it, it's an affirmation of i think what the my sense of the this gift for you is is really something that's naturally pouring out of you because uh, the way you describe it of of that's everything i read in letter to artists is it's almost something that god is given and you're just uncovering it the way you say that you know it's it's really there are times where you feel like someone else is moving the pen or that the song is almost writing itself so i think you know what is songwriting in your experience it does sound like it's almost God sort of, uh, as a, I think as missionaries, it, it's always this seeing how God can use us. And, and I think just like that full-time worker who first noticed that in you, you know, the, where, oh, do, what, you know, do I have a talent? And then for the same as God would show us, let me show you what you can do if you give yeah. it up to me. And so those just, I think, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. I think t- so most of us, we're afraid of, because talents are, you know, it comes in, it can, because it, it can make you, it can break you. It, it can be used to glorify God. It can be used to mislead people. Um, I think talent always, sometimes, or most of the time, it scares us, uh, especially when people misunderstand us with how we are using it. Mm-hmm. To me, I think I was never afraid of that because... Um, there will always be naysayers, <laughs> but I think in my heart, I know that because I think people will never understand what you have unless they are in the same shoes. So that's why artists understand, um, you know, the other artists because they know the process. They know um, what are the things that, you know, that should take or what are the things, what 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 it took to continue what what we're doing and what are the things that we went through just to make sure that this talent is you know would would bloom and would not be put in a shelf somewhere or hidden i think that in itself is a journey that only artists can understand um the other artists and people most of the time would just gravitate to the the things that we're doing on stage or the finished product or the songs but which is good because they will always resonate differently in the things that we create, but the process, you know, to, to sustain it, to maintain it, it's like, it's like your prayer life, which, which is funny because our songwriting became um, one of the avenues we can, where we can, you know, shut everything, the world, shut the world and shut every noise and just be alone with God. Mm. And um, yeah, I think it's important that we should not be afraid on the things that we have. Um, there will always be temptations. Um, I'm vulnerable to that as well, but I think it's important that in our heart we know our reasons why we're doing it. Because at the end of the day, you will be famous. People will know you, but it's not about 
what people perceive you of who you are. It's about you and your commitment to God and being true to that. So, yeah, I never really felt I'm famous. I mean, <laughs> I don't, I don't, I really don't care about it. Um, but I have this responsibility to somehow, you know, uh, make people happy in a way. Can people, can you give a birthday greeting to someone? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, those those things. Um, I'm, I laugh at it, but I'm I'm not gonna deviate from it. I'm not gonna avoid mm. it because maybe that's the only way I can reach reach out to them in a way mm. that God would. So, yeah, I'm 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 never afraid of of you know facing my talent because I know it's from God. It doesn't come from any place. So I think that should everyone, you know, they have to understand that as well. So never be afraid to share your gift, um, maybe in cooking or anything like, you know, anything that you can come you can do that that is that is you know that makes you happy, mm -hmm. makes people happy. And Dancing. I, <laughs> <laughs> dancing oh my goodness um i mean memories flashing in my head <laughs> so yeah um yeah never be afraid of your talent because god gave that to you and um yeah he will always you know make sure that it's him that will be glorified pointing to him amen thank you for yeah sharing the heart behind the the songs and in your songwriting um i think it definitely it's not just what you do or, you know, what as in the song that's made, but I, I love how you describe it, the how that it came about. And you were saying this prayer life and what's actually behind it. Um, so I, I would love to keep talking more, but you have a lot of songs to share, which I'm excited <laughs> for. So what is the next song you have? Um, this song, I actually just finished this last night because when Whoa, you told me, yeah, because yeah, when you told me about like, I actually was I actually, you know, yeah, I actually finished this a while uh, for a week. I mean, last week, I guess. But I was thinking of, I think I'm not yet, it's not yet done. And um, when you invited me here, I'm kind of like, oh, okay, I think I should finish this song now because, you know. So I kind of like use that as a motivation to finish something because mm -hmm. when, you, when you create something, especially in terms of songs, um, there's that thing that you have to finish it. So it won't linger, and the 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 story will not be um, eroded in terms of because you wrote it like too long, you kind of like lose the feeling. So, mm -hmm. so yeah. So this song is about um, basically my my uh, my curiosity of how God is so fond of us, or let's say in in a personal standpoint, so fond of me when a lot of things that I know I'm not proud of that He knows. A lot of things that I've done that I know that he knows <laughs> when he could have just, you know, swat me like a fly and then be disappear right now because maybe he would, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't please him. But I kind of, I'm, I'm kind of in awe of I'm still here <laughs> and uh, doing all these things and I'm still part of this community and all that. So kind of, I kind of just, you know, in awe of who he is. Hmm. And in a personal standpoint, hopefully be able to capture that. So this yeah. song is called You. You, gotcha. Take it away. Yep. wide you've stretched your arms and you show me how it's done mm -hmm. maybe your 
your love is the kind I'll never earn. Oh, I never will deserve you. So here you are. Here you are. There goes my sin. Beautiful. The clapping of angels. <laughs> the metal. <laughs> <laughs> clapping of angels and metal sound. Oh my goodness. Sorry yeah, about I, that, I, friends. I, oh. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I think uh, because the message of the song is still heard very clearly. I think um, what, what really fascinated me, because the song is just you, so it's just this reflection on who God is, as you were sharing. There's yeah. something that uh, Pope Paul VI says. He's, again, speaking to artists, and he says, you yourselves go searching for this world of the ineffable or the indescribable. And he says, its best store is religion. In saying that God, wow. religion, is this endless store or the best store of the indescribable, you know, the mystery of our faith. Yeah. And so... I guess that's that's something I'm curious about because in writing so many songs for the Lord about the Lord where is it that you you know why is it that you keep finding new things to say about God or or where is it that that inspiration comes from Um because uh how do you say that I think I always I always I really love music and on how it's it would mysteriously connect to people in ways that is so different from how it was written, the motivation of the writing process, the idea, you know. I mean, I was I told a while ago that I would come up with songs in <laughs> in jeepney rides or when I'm traveling or somewhere that is so unusual for you to come up with ideas, but but you know it's. It's so simple how, it, or it's so unusual how it was written. But when it came about, or when it when it becomes a mu the the song, uh, people would resonate to it in, a, in in thousands of ways. So I think the motivation is the same way that the Holy Spirit in nature is more than him as a fire. He's also in the character of water because he refreshes. Um, he renews, he would emerge, like, submerge us to his presence, but consume us at the same time. So I think with that same approach and that same inspiration, that whenever I hear songs, regardless of, you know, if it's a worship song or if it's a secular song, it kind of brings, kind of bring me to, kind of like transport me to a different place where I can be just mm. alone with myself and, you know, get soaked with the message and all that, and ex you know, have an experience of how the melody would, would, you know, go about from verses to verses. Um, 
it's kind of weird when you hear that kind of explanation from artists but <laughs> to me that's a beautiful thing to be to be put in that place where you find another opportunity to you know to feel that freshness to feel that newness and i think that's the same way when you know when you when you speak about our religion um that total experience of the holy spirit like when you go to confession or you hear mass there's that supernatural peace you feel every time because i think to me that's the holy spirit and i think he always he always gives us freshness he always gives us a different perspective about life about stuff so my hope is whenever i would write songs um I would always challenge myself to say stuff in a different way or I don't know if it's in a new way but to me hopefully people will be able to connect to it in a fresher perspective in a fresher lens that's so hard to do but um, I think the challenge is more of just you know keep digging keep you know keep trying to describe God in many different ways um, in a personal standpoint and learning as well from how other people would do it. Because, you know, sometimes our perspective of God is too little that it's also important that we learn from other people because, I mean, that's the reason why we are a church because we are composed of different parts of, of from one body to many different parts of it. So, yeah, I think um, it's, that. that's really my, my goal, my stamp, my my disposition to always challenge myself to see God in a different way because it it helps me in my in my spiritual journey as well so that I will not be comfortable on just one thing I always search for more the deep for more especially I'm a sinner so <laughs> I have to keep challenging myself and see God in many different ways that's beautiful. Oh, I had to look up something if I was looking to the side because I had it reminded me of, but I, I didn't write this down. So because uh, when you were saying like uh, some of that inspiration sometimes is, is you hearing another song or just or, or noticing something. It's it's in sometimes busy moments. It's sometimes in worship. And Pope Paul the sixth again in that um, when he's talking to artists in the Sistine Chapel, he says there is something called Einfalung. I think it's a German word. I'm not sure. He says that Einfalung is this ability that artists have to express a feeling that we we that by in way of thinking we can't fully understand. So that through Einfalung, that an artist can express it. And so I had to look up that word. Yeah, Einfalung. And then I'll oh, check this out. So it says that it's it's this. It comes from uh, this is where we get the word empathy. And so it comes from uh, the word to explore the human capacity to enter into a piece of art and feel the emotions that the artist had worked to represent. So that exactly what you're saying, sort of that moment of when you hear a worship song, you hear a song and you just go to that to that place or to whatever that artist was trying to capture yeah. and that's definitely you know a, a spirit given moment you know that's uh so einfalung and i think um einfalung. yeah i think what you were describing too i love uh when you were saying that as the body of christ and and this church and trying to capture a new way of saying things i think what you said is so powerful because every single one of us has a unique one of a kind life journey at one of a kind relationship with the lord and so to capture that in song or art in whatever way and to share it gives somebody einfalung into a whole different way of seeing god or of thinking about god or a different experience so i think uh those moments that you say of like when you share a song and thousands of ways that people can receive it or experience it it's because they're experiencing god in a unique ex way that he has brought about through you yeah amen <laughs> amen <laughs> what is the next song that will take us yeah. into einfalung <laughs> <laughs> um I wrote this song, I think, years back, I think four years ago, when I was still in Cebu. So, um, I, I, it's actually more of 
that Iron Falong moment, funny when it's because I really <laughs> set it on the third, third as a third song, because at that time I was just you know just trying to. Um, I was not, I was not actually I was, I was not trying to, you know, write anything. It's just that I was led to writing about that special moment when you pray to God and you know every prayer is answered by God so because whenever we pray um, with sincerity in our hearts with the intentions pure um, God would you know he would he would sit down and listen um, like I think he, he hears every prayer but at that time he answer i mean i'm i'm looking at a standpoint or i'm 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 having this standpoint of like if god is my friend then like like a true friend he would listen to anything that i would say regardless of its importance <laughs> <laughs> so I, I just want to capture that moment and then um you know how it would change um my life in the process how it changed my life in the process and how it would continue to change my life right now because there are moments I would rant about stuff which I don't really do often but once I understand the relationship now I can I can want stuff about you (laughs) (laughs) no Lord I'm not abusing that (laughs) but but I think to me um, when you do that you kind of like recognize where you are and you also recognize where to go where to move forward knowing that God is with you so this song is called C because um, C S S E E because um, C um, I, I think when you pray more than seeing your own heart, you also see God looking at your heart, and that kind of like you know change everything for you because you know that He doesn't only um, listen, but He also see things things that you suffer from, things that you go through. So, yep, this is the song. You speak in the silence You answer to my to your works, to your wonder. 
this Oh my desire to the love I grew fonder More of your love, of your love And no other than you Open my eyes to your works, to your wonders Oh my desire to the love I grew fonder more of your love, of your love, and no other than you. sharing that prayer <laughs> oh my god sorry about the noise guys so. <laughs> no the dogs they're your audience over there <laughs> <laughs> these are like the you know the praising part so just just think about it that way um there is a there is a something you mentioned uh when we were still sound checking before of your hope to really encourage people to also write songs too i guess that's my question and and now hearing some of your heart and some of the process you know your openness to the spirit and how the god works through you to write songs i guess somebody who wants to write songs maybe they're trying to write songs maybe they want to grow as a songwriter what what would be your advice from your experience um i think with me it's more of i was able to have this opportunity to serve first other people and seeing that how people would you know change in ways that so different from who they were before um but not in the context of you know hearing songs that i wrote i think that kind of you know changed me or powerfully affect me as well in my journey of uh, journey in, in in this life of faith so uh I think it's important that we make sure, or well, not really make sure, but you go through the process, you go through the journey of encountering God in those situations, in those moments. Because you can only write about God when you meet Him, when you're able to encounter Him. And the thing is, never really be comforted, you know, never really be comforted, or how do you say that? Never be contented to that one encounter. Because in the same way, God is never contented about encountering us one time. And I think it speaks about when we encounter him one time, it kind of like, it's not a burden, but it kind of like give us that opportunity or this avenue to serve more, to be conflicted. You know, <laughs> you're too comforted. You have to be conflicted. So I think those discomfort um, are beautiful. Those are essential to service, to worship, because... Um, it doesn't justify anything of our humanness. It justifies the existence of who God is, of who He is, of His existence Himself, of who God, that, you know, more than Him being present in our most victorious moments, He is more so present in our sufferings. And it's not that we seek for suffering, but when suffering comes our way, we we face it head on we embrace it like jesus would embrace his cross um i think those 
those are essential to songwriting our experience first and um to me right now to sustain that um because when you when you experience god now you have a story to tell now you have something to, to say you know it doesn't matter who would listen to it but what's important is the, the, the experience the encounter of your your encounter to him or with him is there so i think that's a story to tell now to sustain it myself now i would seek opportunities to you know to encounter him <laughs> so yeah i would love to serve i would love to give sessions talks like that and also finding him in different ways like encountering other people more of like when i go hiking or when i do like i would i would do long drive with like like bike um especially when i'm in a clan so i would you know the scenery all that stuff chasing the sunset all the stuff kind of like <laughs> give me that that same energy of encountering him um maybe it satisfies me as a, as a human being but um it it still brings me to that level of encountering him in many different ways so as long as that works for me i will keep on chasing that encounter with, with god because the thing is he's also chasing me so it's like so there's there's that good balance of stuff so you won't be it wouldn't be that hard <laughs> when you chase god because he's chasing after you as well so yeah encounter first god uh serve and then from there uh, the technical part well you know you can learn that from other artists but it's important that you first have the encounter you first have the heart because the technical things the skills uh, you can learn that from other artists i can i can give you that those stuff i can i can you know can guide you with that just reach out to me so um but yeah i think the heart is more important than anything else before the hand so yeah hey man that that i think it's put so simply i mean it makes so much sense because uh you know like secular artists if you want to write a good love song well you gotta fall in love if you want to write <laughs> that heartbreak song you gotta experience heartbreak and i, I think you <laughs> put it so simply of like you want to write a worship song what is worship it's prayer it's serving other people you know what i mean our exactly. what god's exactly it's this love for god and i think that's what is so conveyed so clear oh go ahead yeah 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 because the best songwriters are the best you know best people who experience what they're what they're writing what story they're telling so i think in one of the workshops i was you know that I attend and the, the the part where i would you know tip that i would share to people is that for you to be a best storyteller you have to experience the experience so you have to be there you know you can't you can't write about moscow if you've never been to moscow you can read about moscow you never you can never write about that experience of you know like running from um from the foot of the mountain going to the top like consistent running you never really capture the experience of that the feeling of that you can never really write something about that if you never you know experience that yourself so yeah um i think more than teacher is the best ex i mean experience is the best teacher it's more of like you know experience is the best storyteller uh it helps you um i think it's where you experience god and i think it's it's where you are able to tell your story without you know without hard selling it <laughs> so, <laughs> making it simple so yeah amen and i think it, it is conveyed so clearly in just some of the songs you shared today of of the simplicity of it because it really is i think what is becoming clearer to me as you describe it is it's it's a love song to god it's it's a relationship that you have you know the same way that yeah. somebody would write a love song to someone they love you know a, a girl or a boy uh, likewise it's just this simple experience of love and relationship you have with with god and, and it's just pulling from that which is beautiful yeah that's awesome. So that's a big, I think, uh, I love it. Uh, when we talk about the heart of songwriting, a tip for the songwriters, I love just cutting through. D first, don't worry about the technical stuff. This is, you want to write music, you know, but we're talking music and mission. And I love you really married the two, which is serve first, get to know God first. Like that's where the mission comes from. And then th the music will come after. So what is the next song you have? Yeah, um, I wrote the song. Uh... <laughs> I'm still in Cebu at the time. I have anxieties. I have difficulty to sleep. And then I was like thinking about, thinking so much about sleeping. <laughs> the, and then next thing you know, it's 5 a.m. Next thing you know, it's 6 a.m. And then 
I just saw how beautiful the sun would change, you know, the colors of the sky. And I was like, because my, 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 my window at the time where I was staying, when I was, where I was hosted, um, it's not facing the east, but it's somewhat, I don't know, it's southeast or northeast or something. But it's, it's kind of like that. And so, so it kind of reflect that beautiful um, colors on that side in, in the sky. So I was just, I was so focused on trying to sleep. But then I, it kind of like, I mean, just sleep. Like, stop thinking about sleeping. <laughs> and I realized that when I was just, uh, I was just in awe of how beautiful the sky at that time or how this beautiful the sky is. And we kind of like take for granted all these little things that happens in front of us, all this beauty happened in front of us, all these miracles that happens in front of us or in the background that is like noisy right now. But, <laughs> but sometimes we kind of like take that for granted because we see it all the time. But um, it doesn't mean that it's our fault because maybe we're, we're, we are that busy in life. But I think God reminded me at the time that whenever you need motivation it's i'm here like look at the sun look at i mean try to breathe like try to inhale exhale that's me so like i was i was just thankful again that even though i wasn't able to see i'm still alive at that time um i got up with with a headache but i'm thankful that i'm alive i'm thankful that the sun is still shining above me i'm thankful that i can hear sounds from um you know vehicles at the time because i was where I'm hosted, I'm just right there on the side of the road. So um, those things kind of annoy us when we, you know, try to focus so much to it. But I think um, those those situations, those moments are the same exact moments where God would reveal who he is in the most simple things so that we could, you know, continue living our lives, not running out of inspiration because he is around us. So. Yeah, just basically describing that moment. Hopefully that song would resonate. But I was just in awe of that moment. And um, I was trying to describe that. So I was, I have no sleep. And on my way to the office at the time at, at the mission center, uh, at the CFC mission center, and I was writing this song. It was so funny. I was like, I was like, <laughs> I'm just so, um, I was just so exhausted because I haven't sleep. But at the same time, the spirit is stronger though the flesh is weak so i was able to finish that song so this is the song it's called race see the morning comes again the darkness past new life begins letting go of our hearts we will lay it all to Jesus we see the earth will come alive hope now shines across the sky with beauty on display this glorious day revealing all his love and faith Worship Him for 
Amen. Wow. Thank you for that song, Race. Man, I, I love the, <laughs> especially knowing the story behind it of, uh, I think what's crazy is just the way you describe uh, around you or in these situations where your life is, well, in that case, you had no sleep. In other cases, you're in a jeepney, <laughs> you're in a tricycle, like you're in the race of life. And yet there are these just these moments where God is still sending you through his spirit, these moments of beauty. I think that's such a beautiful uh, reality to realize about some of the ways that songs come to you. It's in the busyness, as is, uh, we've mentioned, the dogs barking now, the metal working behind you, (laughs) but God is still in there in all of that busyness. (laughs) Yeah, true. Um, How do you say that? Because at the time, I think instead of using my energy on being upset about what happened, like, I think sometimes our knowledge about so much in life kind of steal the joy, how God planted that joy in us when we were younger. And at the time, I was just, uh, sometimes it's 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 important that you wrestle with yourself with how you see things, because sometimes you kind of like, with all the biases that you have like to me like i mean what's so special about today like (laughs) stuff like that we i have that kind of posture sometimes or most of the time especially when your attitude or your um just yourself kind of like get in the way so it's um yeah i think that time i was just i never really thought that this song would come come out that way but yeah, I kind of, myself, I, I always, this is one of the songs that I love to play because it kind of like, you know, I like the dynamics, I like how it's describing stuff. I even, I would even ask myself, I wrote this song? Like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's funny. And uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a good thing to be, a, to be reminded about, you know, that he is present um, in the little things, especially in the little things, because I think God is so specific. It's just, um, I mean, it, details is important to him. That's why he created us with so much detail. He created the things around us with so much detail that we get to connect to it or use it in many different ways. But at the same time, it kind of reminds us that he is also present um, in the details because he is the one who created it. So, <laughs> yeah, I think that's 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 basically the heart of the song amen and I, I, that's i think more powerful now in a pandemic world and where everything yeah. feels monotonous or you know it doesn't feel the same and uh i think that's so powerful when you mention like really still looking for god in the details the beauty of god even in our suffering and our you know the difficult moments um and that's where I, you know i really go to uh the letter to artists um Again, where Pope John Paul II says the church needs musicians, 
because the faith of countless believers has been nourished by melodies flowing from the hearts of other believers. And I think especially at this time, um, even, you know, you just shared a song that you only just completed last night. I think that's just the, the same posture of musicians right now, you know, is, is to, as much as possible, not be jaded by what's going on and, and the things happening in the world, but to really try to seek that beauty. Yeah. Before we do the last song, we'll end in prayer. <laughs> All right. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you so much, Lord, just for this moment to be reminded that in moments of fight and unrest, in the busyness, the noise around us, um, that you are always there, Lord. Thank you for revealing to us, Lord, a little more of what music and mission are and how you can use those two things together, Father, to just reveal your love for us. So we pray, Lord, that you would open our hearts and our eyes, our ears, our senses to the little ways you're speaking to us. And for those who feel that calling, Lord, that you would give them that encouragement, that nudge, somebody to inspire them and give them an opportunity to write songs for you from their experiences, from their encounters with you. This we pray, amen. Amen. Sing our fears with your freedom that none shall be slaves on this earth. A Messiah came to dispel the dark. Blessed are the poor and the weak, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn and weep, they shall find comfort in your arms. And even though our heart faints in fear, Lord, we know you'll come to our rescue. Hope that shines and shields us from the snares of the night, you are here the heart of the Society, a father, a friend, and my one true love, a song of peace within me. And even though our heart faints in fear, Lord, we know you'll come to our rescue. Hope that shines and shields us from the stairs of the night. You are here in the heart of the fire. Holy, a 
fight with all the love, all this love that you place in me. Sing your glory, oh the King has come, and no darkness should reign no against me. Sing your holy, a fight with all the love. All this love that you place in me Cause you are the love in me And even though our heart faints in fear Lord, we know you'll come to our rescue Hope that shines and shields us from the snares of the night in the heart of the fight And even though our heart faints in fear Lord, we know you'll come to our rescue Hope that shines and shields us from the stands of the night You are here in the heart of the fight you are here in the heart of the fight. You are here in the heart of the fight.